place to be. Episode 24. Yeah, 2021. The first Woo. show of the year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year's. Yes. It's New Year. Years. <laughs> we go to Kroger's. We say Happy New Year's. We say Happy Valentine's Day. Yes. <laughs> we do Valentine's all of that. <laughs> I may, I may even say pancake every once in a while. Pancake? Nah, no, I will not. Yeah, you Absolutely like, you not. You like pancakes. That is. I, Shout out to pancakes. <laughs> pancakes are delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I must say. So like we always do about this time. Welcome back to uh -huh. the place yeah. to be. Okay. Fat yeah. one three on the M I C. You thought uh -huh. I was gonna rap, but I'm not. Though. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you was about to bust a rhyme, yo. <laughs> but uh, I am a gracious, humble servant warrior, King Rico, champion in the place to be. Yes. What yes, up, uh, Rico? What up, Rick? We cool got Ranch to Rico. Cool Ranch to Rico. <laughs> on the ones and the twos. Man, the and the one, threes. Not the two. And the threes. Though. And the threes. <laughs> I don't like what you're doing right now. <laughs> you go last. We got oh, man. All right. Jamar J1 Rubik's Cube Scoop Blessed in the place to be. What up, though? Yeah. AKA What's going No on? Soda. Yeah. How you doing, young Scoop? Delicious. Hey, man. We're doing wonderful. God is good. That's dope. Hey, That's dope. God is awesome. And this guy. Hey. <laughs> Mill Beat on McAdams, you know. Peanut Brother Brother. Not me. AKA B Love. AKA Briefcase Bees. AKA <laughs> The Great. <laughs> all, all of them. It's The Great. Great Bambino. Amplified. On you the know what saying? Saying? All them. <laughs> all that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the Great Amplified. <laughs> the Great Amplified. How y'all doing, man? Good, man. Doing well. And this is episode 24. Two. Kobe. Four. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Is it Kobe. the Mamba episode? Yes, the, the Mamba. Mamba. I like that. I like <laughs> man. that, man. Yeah. yeah man. So how y'all been? Good, man. You know, I ain't seen y'all all year. <laughs> he just... Wah wah wah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be hearing plenty of that. You know what I'm saying? Going into work. Right. <laughs> Everywhere, church, I see, right? <laughs> I ain't seen you so since, long. I ain't seen you since last year. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, we made it through. That's you know right. Saying? God is good. Thank you, Lord, for another opportunity to serve you. For another opportunity to increase the kingdom. For another opportunity to reach the people, touch the people, and move the people in a kingdom way. That's right. We Amen. get to. We get to. We get to. We get to. Thank you, Lord, for family. Thank you, Lord, for structure. Thank you, Lord, for patience. Thank you, Lord, for power. Thank you, Lord, for temperance and self-control. In the name of Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for increase. Thank you, Lord, for overflow, for protection, for uh, 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 control over our tongues, over our emotions, over our hearts, over our reactions. We want to be salt and light to the nations. So I thank you for the opportunity to be your hands, your feet, your mouth, your eyes. I thank you for the opportunity to give what I have to your people, to give what we have to the people, and to be a blessing to the nation. Amen. Glory to God. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yes. yeah. 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 That's how we starting off. That's right. 2021 you know with a bang. Two yeah. four. Bang bang. Bang bang. Yeah. Pew pew. <laughs> Quit shooting that. Right. <laughs> Oh man, good, yeah, yeah. So, so what's been good this week? Oh man, you know, same old saying. Well, this week, yeah, or last week, or last week, same old saying. You know, you know, work, and uh, I don't got no front page news for the people. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to <sighs> pray the fat away. I'm trying okay. to pray the fat away. Right. <laughs> I, I feel like you exhaled some calories when you said it. I hope I did. I hope and pray that I did. I don't know if that's a thing, but if it ain't a thing, Jesus make it a thing. Make it a thing. <laughs> that's the case. 
<laughs> I'm exhaling yeah. all day. <laughs> Keep picture yeah. Jesus like that ain't a thing. Making it, it up. Thing. It up. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Making it up. <laughs> What's up with you though, uh, Bing? Oh, chilling, man. Uh, you know, vacation, relaxing. You gonna rub your second week of vacation in our face? Then? Yeah, second week of vacation. Haven't really done much, to be honest with you. Um, well, I haven't done anything uh, much earthly. I've done plenty spiritually. Amen. So, Amen. Amen. Yeah, a lot Everybody of. Like a round of applause. Yeah. 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 So a lot of reading, a lot of praying. You know, getting in that war room and. Yeah, making it happen. Young yeah. school. Hey, this week all about for me, it's been great. I've been touching bases with my family. Yeah, nice. And my kids been coming through, and I just met my grand man in person. Yeah, yeah. You know I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, he's doing love for that. Yeah, he he he, he stopped. What's his name? Javon Jr. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, of course. You know what I'm saying? Of course, it's Javon. Right. <laughs> yeah. Stopping over with, with, with Grant with, with old Papa with old Papa blessed for a couple weeks, so um we gonna build some kingdom into him, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah, All man. Day. As you should. So I just been really enjoying my family for the last, you know what I'm saying, week. So that's where that's where I'm at with nice. it. Yeah, I see I seen y'all New Year's picture and Jay Mears the coolest one out of the whole picture. Yeah, he cool. He cooler than all uh, y'all. Everybody, <laughs> they throwing up sad. <laughs> Jay Mears just chilling like. I'm here. You know what I'm right. Happy New Year. You know what I'm saying? Right. Shout out to Jay Mir. <laughs> yeah. Say school. Where can the people find us at? You can find us on our social media handles at Instagram, crown underscore of underscore glory underscore 360. Or you can follow us on Twitter. He did the right amount of ofs this week. All right. <laughs> or you can follow us on Twitter. Don't leave me hanging. Hang. 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 <laughs> My bad, brother. And you can follow us on Twitter at COG360 Camera. Um, also, also, you can DM us at, uh, if you need to talk to us about prayer requests or any business matters, you can email us at crownofglory360gmail.com and also follow us on youtube subscribe to our youtube like share subscribe oh, crown of like glory 360 smash smash episode that like button 24 when we talk about from episode 1 through 24 you can check us out get some of this kingdom talk yeah. get some of this word yeah we got that for you yeah. 24 amen oh you know spanish um, just know your number. At least I know my times tables. Just numbers <laughs> and food items. <laughs> that's it. That's all I. That's all I know. <laughs> that shouldn't be so funny, but it is. <laughs> that's it, man. All right. Well, hey, let's get into this dub. The dub. The dub. I'll start it off. Uh, Milt Bino McAdams, aka the Gray Bambino, aka Briefcase Beans, aka Got Milk. Um, so all time white shoes ever. I probably have an unpopular uh opinion. Most all time white sneaker, of white all time. sneaker. Yeah, most Less people, here. most people would go Air Force, Air Force One. One, right? Especially our age group. Uh, some may even go Reebok, low cut Air Force One. Scoot would go Reebok, right? You go Reebok, I would go Reebok all white shell toe. That's my that's my favorite one. Yeah, just, those are dope. They just you don't see them a lot. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, I don't know. For some reason, shell toes just get dirtier faster. For some, for me, I had maybe one or two pairs, and they just got dirty so quick. But yeah, see, I I think it's other. I like for me, all white Air Force Ones. Once they wrinkle, well, you when something gets on them. I'm I'm done. You can't. And I, ironically, I've been looking for a pair of all white Air Force Ones. They keep being sold out. Like I need one in my, I need a pair of my arsenal. You know, actually, you need two per. You do need two per. I'm mad. I don't, I don't like. It. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Let's boo that man one time yeah. for the new year. <laughs> hey man, I don't like you got the instant replay. You can just control all the sound effects. I wanted to boo you. Uh, I'm, I'm with, with, with your little, you been here. I haven't seen you all year. You can request a boo. Oh, okay. Cool. I am. Um, do, I, do I send it via text or do I just just boo that man? Right, but, I will boo okay. myself. I, I, am I boo liberal. thyself. I uh, yeah, I am liberal with the sound effects. All right. <laughs> but but yeah, you can't have you can't have one pair of shoes and it be all white anything you know what i'm saying like all whites are, are pulled out on that day you feel fresh worn one time and then you don't wear them for until you need to achieve that right. all white effect you don't wear all whites every day they ain't every day yeah too. no like right. never air force ones all whites have turned into grass cutting shoes <laughs> it's very quickly <laughs> like super quickly because they just look sleepy after a while man like once they look sleepy it's over now you wearing them three times it's a crinkle yeah it's over it's done deal i mean there's ways you can prevent it but yeah and you work. can't you can't really clean them like you can clean them but the minute somebody else walks up with a fresh pair it's like you know the difference yours look like boo-boo <laughs> right. All day. All right, dope. Well, Rico Champion, I am more than a conqueror through him who loved me. And my dub for the week is at the end of October, I started, you know, I went on, I did this 30 day challenge with my mama, you know, and I lost 25 pounds. And congratulations. 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 I've gained all 25 back. <laughs> I knew he was going to say that. You need to boo yourself. <laughs> Request for a boo. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. So How did I know you was going to say that? <laughs> I've gained every one of them back. and But, you know, last couple days, about a week or so, I've been, I, I've, I've been juicing. I've been preparing to, you know what I'm right. saying? And we jump, we jumping back in that thing. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm, it ain't over. All of us. Right, been, it ain't over. I've been pairing the all got slay, that, slay that giant. Yep. Nah, Scooby, you done lost a couple pounds. Though. Yeah, but I ain't been to the gym. I ain't been to the gym. I got knocked off course. I'm I'm good because I fasted and I've been drinking strictly water. I done broke my water diet like once, twice, three times. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I grabbed some, some flavored water, what he called it, some juice. You know what I'm saying? But I've been drinking strictly Kool-Aid. water. Yeah. So I lost about ten pounds, man, but I ain't. I'm still out of shape. So I but I can tell. Shape. I can tell on you. I can tell on you. Like you a slim dude. So when you gain weight, I see it quick. Like I can right. see in your face. You done slim down in your face, in your like. So yeah, like you know, I'm just jolly over here, jolly, jolly rosy cheeks. I, yeah, I've been drinking plenty of water uh, with uh, high fructose corn syrup. <laughs> <laughs> it right. is no longer water at yeah, that point. <laughs> yeah after that it's been straight what about you school what you, what you got for the dub so this is Jamar Bless aka Rubus Cube School so my dub is and y'all should know this I'm a movie mocker Throughout the years, <laughs> we could be talking about something, and if it reminds me, because I'm a big movie buff. I was really in the 90s, yeah. early 2000s, so I watched so many movies. And yeah. what, my favorite movies, I watch them over and over. What I mean by I'm a movie mocker is that we could be talking about something, just anything, and if something reminds me of something out of the movie, I'll use that line in our conversation. Yep. I do it all right. the time. Every time you pop up with some, I'm like, oh, what you <laughs> what, what didn't movie see? you didn't watch? Right. What what are your uh all time? Give me give me some of your remarks. all-time favorite either I, I, movies or I, I, all-time favorite movie lines. You can't my, do the lines because they're not, just so my, ignorant. My favorite <laughs> oh, okay. I, I, I'm just gonna baby boy. Baby boy? Yeah. Uh when uh Vin, uh Tyrese called Melvin called Ben Rames a dirty mug. Yes. Right. It's a dirty mug, Melvin. You know what I'm saying? Right. Or uh, 
<laughs> he quote menace mask. He quote oh, juice mask. It's plenty of them. Right. It's plenty of them. So mine he that quote, I he quote New Jack City. Right. Oh yeah. Oh, all time. Any situation that that you know that's like you know he what quote, I mean. Paid it, for. I always say this is bigger than Nino Brown. Right. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, I think for me, you know, just being a, you know, the dad and always giving kids money, I probably overuse it, but it's always keep the change, you filthy animal. <laughs> keep the change, always. you filthy animal. Always. Every time I give them some money, I tell them that. <laughs> yeah, that's dope. So, yeah, I'm a movie <laughs> mocker, man. Okay. That, that's, that, that's my dub. Yeah, right. that, is, that, is a, that is true indeed about school. Yep. Right. All right. So, school. How was I tuned in this week? How you been tuned in? You know how we do it. So, speaking of family, my tuned in this week is increase the kingdom in your family. That is one of the most, it's the most important thing that you can do for your family. Getting wisdom from my brother Rico here. I'm, I was, uh, sometimes we complain. We should always be grateful. So, I found myself, uh, talking about my two oldest children complaining about something and you know I ain't had no business complaining about it you know what I'm saying I'm like you know blah 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 this and but they act like I ain't never did nothing for them and blah 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 blah. right so what Rico said he said he started to break down some of the (laughs) physicality some of the things that I we do here on the earth like the things that I lacked in, like, but hold on. Remember back in the day when you was going up the way all them times? You didn't. What about, he said, nah, matter of fact, I'm going to cut that short. If you didn't give your children the kingdom, you ain't give them nothing. Yeah. If you don't give your family the kingdom, you ain't give them nothing. Amen. Everything outside in this earthly world, material, the 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 because God is going to supply that. Mm-hmm. Food, clothes, over their back. But you need to give your children your wife, your brothers and sisters, if you give them all you got, what you got is God, you mm-hmm. have to give that to them. Amen. That increases the kingdom. That's what God loves. That's right. So that's what I got for my uh, tuned in this week. Nice. Amen. Increasing the kingdom. Amen. Young Greek, how you been <laughs> tuned in? Well, <laughs> uh, what Jamar just explained might sound like I was a pure a hole how I said what I said. I ain't say it like how you said it though. Oh, if I said how you said it, yeah, it sounded. He was cold <laughs> as ice. You ain't give him no- nah. I ain't gonna go there. Nah, but it was wisdom though, so I I I, I took it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but God has me focus focusing on checking how I talk to people again. I probably said I know I said it in one of the episodes. Uh, but God re uh, reestablished, you know, yeah, reestablished or reiterated that you got to check and watch how you talk to people just because, and this is a process of pruning and uprooting something a way that you know we've operated and acted since we was young I mean we come from the cut you up era Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying we cap we cut each other up we try to be as sharp with our tongue cause somebody else might be and that bleeds into your communication all the right, all way around the board, and I've caught myself saying, you know, I'm like I might be most, you know, I'm I, I could be explaining something from love and be like, ah, oh, well, that's just how I talk. Nope, that ain't no excuse. When you're a leader, when you are, you know, what I'm saying you are in the position yeah. to lead your main. function Mm is communication you got to take it more serious so i can't i can't rest on that's just how that is just how i talk but i gotta be i gotta be clear that 
a lot of times some some a lot of people can't take that approach sometimes it's good but you got to use wisdom and Amen. and some and a lot of times it could be effective but i could be in my emotions complaining about somebody being in, in their emotions so then communication breaks down so then the objective of communicating kingdom is lost because mm -hmm. i was too rough i was too harsh i was too forceful you know what i'm saying every everything don't deserve a response at, like i was tell i didn't tell you this but i told bino this i got i i, I asked jamar to do something and send me something he didn't send it and then he didn't then when he did send it he sent it not how i asked him to send it and my first response was to get smart like i deleted all that i said hey could you send it like you know this way this I way i felt you wanted to say something too. <laughs> I, I said i said i said this was light he wanted to say something. I said, he, I said, oh, he wanted to say it different. I said, oh, good, good job, man. Bring I knew he yourself. wanted to. Right, right. Anyway, we're about to sell. <laughs> <laughs> but, and I was, and ultimately I didn't get what I wanted, but it was something going on on his side where he followed all of the instructions and just couldn't do what I asked him. But if I would be like, uh, if I would have got said something slick, it would have been I would have been wrong. Right. Cause who's it serving at that moment? You know what I'm saying? Flesh. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Nice. Nah, all day I can dig that one. So that's slick. I'm proud of you though. Yeah. Cause I felt it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. How you been tuned in? <laughs> Don't worry about yourself. Right. You well, I've I've, I've been. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of tuning in uh, last, you know, th this week. Um, you know, it's been a lot of just me closing the door, turning everything off and, you know, just talking to God. Uh, Amen. But we, we are, we're well, not, but, and, uh, you know, we're, we're still in Acts. You know, yeah. we, we read for comprehension. So, yeah. you know, I read several, t you know, same thing several times mm -hmm. just to make sure I get it. You know, I am one of those ooh squirrel type of people. Yeah. So I gotta, I, I gotta read. Yeah, I gotta read things multiple times to make sure I get it. Um, but men acts, you know, they're they're describing, you know, the, you know, the the first century of church and the, the growth of the the body of of Christ. Yeah. And it's it's super exciting to me. It's wonderful to read. Uh, you know, when I first began, like really deep diving the word, I was, uh, you know, heavily into the Old Testament starting yeah. from the beginning. Yeah. And then uh, I finished the I read the gospel, the four gospels, like two or three times mm -hmm. for comprehension. Yeah. So I had all that. And don't get me wrong. Like I've I've read bits and pieces of, you know, the Bible. But now, like, I'm just reading Acts. Yeah. And like that post mm -hmm. man there's acts, some stuff in there man think about like it. everything after every from acts on out is now exactly and it's <laughs> I, I i can't even explain what it does to me yeah. but man they was some gangsters man yeah, man look man. hold on hold on hold on hold on acts 16 35 amplified uh -huh. now when day came, the chief magistrates sent their officers saying, release those men. They're telling them, mm -hmm. hey, release those release those folks out of jail. Yeah. Paul and them. And the jailer repeated the words to Paul saying, the chief magistrates have yeah. sent word to release you. Mm -hmm. So come out now and go in peace. Right? <laughs> Just imagine you and the JC. Right. The, wrongly the, the co come in and say hey the judge said you can go come on out man you know what I mean come on out you he and you and your cell you say <laughs> they have beaten us in public 
without a trial, men who are Romans, and have thrown us into prison. And now they are sending us out secretly? Nah. <laughs> he said no, but I said nah. <laughs> Let them come here themselves and bring us out. Yep, yep. Keep that same energy. Right. You did all that in secret. And you, you did all that publicly. Now, now, now say you wrong publicly. Right. right. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> yeah. Man. Nah, we ain't coming out. Y'all come come and do it publicly. Right. But yeah. Man. That's it. That's all. I mean, that's it. I don't really have nothing else to say after that. Yeah. Like, that was just, man. Right. Golly. Yeah. Just the authority. Yeah. Like, understanding the authority. Like, it's dope. Yeah, that's dope. Super yeah. dope. Yeah, it was like, you know, see, what's dope about the new covenant and the first century church is even how Peter progressed. Like, you know, Peter, he was a hothead. And Peter denied Christ. Yes, but Peter right. ended up dying like like he he was one of the ones that was martyred like peter i believe when, when peter said i will never leave you i will never he, jesus said you will deny me three times before the rooster cro rooster right. you know what i'm saying yep. he said i never i believe he really be I, I believe he really meant it and he really believed that he wouldn't but he couldn't be that level of he couldn't he couldn't carry out that without the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Yeah, we talked about that before. So then mm, when you get the gotcha. Holy Spirit, you can be everything that you're designed to be in right. Christ. Now Peter can be crucified upside down because I got out like I don't care what you do, what you say, it, we we ride until the wheels fall off. I don't ain't like right. Bro, uh, Stephen got stoned. A uh, 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 couple of them got crucified upside down. I think Paul or somebody got boiled alive or something. I mean, it's just a theory, and it's a theory they said. They said when Peter got crucified upside down, he said, "Crucify me upside down because I'm not worthy to be crucified." Right. Like I heard that too. Yeah. And if that's true, ooh, <laughs> that's serious. Wow, man. I'm not even worried. Just think about, just think about the times you be on the, you be, you know, times that you have been on the streets discipling, and someone walk past you, you feel the urge to go talk to them, but you don't. Right. Or you do talk to them, and they say something slick, and you feel indignant. Right. right. We live in America. We got it good. We ain't getting person. I mean, we ain't. We, we ain't facing the level of persecution that people over in Libya is. Not even close. People, it's in China, it's, the church is underground. You can't be an open Christian in North right. Korea. You can't be an open. You go to jail for having Bibles. It's right. places in, in, in the Middle East where, what? A Bible? What, man, if they catch a Muslim reading the Bible, people have to smuggle. I've heard stories and read stories of people having to smuggle a Muslim, the book of John, and the book of John setting them free, and they know what I'm saying, and they they, right. they 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 running after Christ, but you can't just what download on the internet a free Bible. They don't they don't have the internet that we right. have. Yeah. Right. Know what I'm saying? Like, so yeah, man. We America is spoiled. Thank God that we spoiled. That's right. right. We get we get to be spoiled. Thank God we get to be spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. All right. Well, let's that get into this pre-case man. man. Yeah. yeah. Everybody went through that. Yeah, everybody went through that. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, let's jump into this briefcase bean. So you say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's another. Okay. Yeah. Royal Family Round. Royal Family Roundtable Briefcase Royal Beans. Royal Family Roundtable. Yes, sir. Briefcase Beans starting it out. All right. So, today we're going to talk about building in to build out. Amen. Man. Building in to build out. So, 
There's an old business quote that says, <clears throat> you don't build a business, you build people, and then the people build the business. Amen. So it takes people to run a business. Mm -hmm. Your business performance derives strictly on your team's performance, period, point blank, mm -hmm. right? Like you can have the greatest product ever, <clears throat> right? But... <clears throat> You'll never reach success without the right, uh, the right team to sell it, to produce it, to ship it, to market it. Mm -hmm. All those things. Like you need those things. You can't scale. You may be able to do something very minute by yourself, but yeah. you need a team. So, to obtain a great team, you know, you hire employees that fit your needs, and we could talk. We could talk about that on another episode, which I think that might be another one. But I want to jump into the difficult task of how do you uh, sustain and how do you develop a team? First off, I want to ask, where did you get a Scully with your dog? Where did you get a Polo Scully with your dog on it? So that is I'll, his dog, that too. That is Luna. Yes. So I also have CJ, too. <laughs> yes, he does. And they only make English and French. The spirit, oh, the spirit led me to Ralph Lauren. <laughs> hey, man, go ahead. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> so, <laughs> how do we sustain and develop our team? So, Google had the same question. So, most companies, you know, they have perks to, to keep their employees engaged. They got, you know, free coffee at the coffee uh, at the break room. Or they may offer, uh, you know aerobic classes, massages, discounts, company outings. Like all those things are are cool, mm -hmm. but that doesn't tap into like the advancement of one's skills and capabilities. Yeah. So, Google, you know, being the super high-tech company that they are, they ran a very sophisticated analysis, and you know what they discovered? The number one key to building a successful uh, or building into successful leaders is one-on-one -on -one coaching. That's it. Simple. Right. A personal touch. Yeah. Nothing complicated. Yeah. That's it. Going back to old school. Right? Yeah. So in a book by Vern Harnish called Scaling Up, right? If you're wondering what that title means, it's scaling your 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 company your business uh it lists five things a company should focus on the first one hire fewer people but pay them more right so you don't just throw bodies you don't you just don't throw bodies at your business you want to get the right people to do the right things that you're able to coach develop and build into mm -hmm. Give recognition and show appreciation. That should explain it for itself. Right. Set clear expectations and give employees a clear line of sight. So basically, <clears throat> uh, you know, you want to inform your team of these skilled people that you're paying more. Uh, where Z is, explain what Z is. Yeah. You That's don't have the to end, right? the end, right? But you don't have to micromanage and tell them what B through Y is. Right. That's why you hire them. You want to give them the freedom to do so. Don't demotivate, de-hassle. So hmm. <clears throat> make their job easier. Exactly. It's removing barriers. If someone is struggling with something, you're not engaging in letting, you know, getting on them for struggling. You want to figure out what they're what the struggle is yeah. and remove that barrier for them and help people play to their strengths right we was talking about that right? yeah. so how does that line up spiritually well jesus tells us as followers <clears throat> our responsibility is to build in and build out mm -hmm. uh and that's via spreading the good news yeah. amen so discipleship yeah one-on-one -on -one coaching just like we said that personal touch mm -hmm. Led by the Spirit, rooted in the Word. So how do we know Jesus wants us to build in and build out? Mark 6, uh, 16, 15, Amplify. And he said to them, go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. 
Matthew 28, 19, Amplified. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations. Help the people to learn of me, believe in me, and obey my words, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Acts 1.8, Amplified. But you will receive power and ability when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses to tell people about me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and even to the ends of the earth. Mm -hmm. So here are some examples of how we can be building in to build out. We build into people mm -hmm. to build out the body of Christ. Yeah. Right. Amen. So <clears throat> leading a small group, Bible study. Yeah. It's a great way of discipling. Doing a podcast. Don't get ahead of yourself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> get out your notes. Right. Come on now. Back up. <laughs> uh, ensuring your household is aligned. Yeah. You were talking about yep. that. Yep. Uh, hitting the streets. Yeah. Preaching the gospel. Right. You know, our, our brother Brent. Be an evangelical. There you go. Yeah, that's, what, that's what we is. We ain't conservatives. We ain't Republicans. We ain't Democrats. We evangelicals. That's right. Reaching out to friends via social media. You know, you may see someone that may post something. They sound yeah. lost, hurting. Mm -hmm. Hit them up. Hit Man, that DM. Yeah. Right. Hit that DM. Ask them to go out for coffee. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, walk in the spirit. Amen. Like, people see that. Yeah. You know, they, they want joy. They want peace, that patience, mm -hmm. wisdom, those things that that fruit that that you are going to, you know, that th that is displaying as you're walking in the spirit. They want mm -hmm. that. Right. So just lead by example. And this podcast. Mm -hmm. So, you know, crown of glory. That's that's one of our ways that we are building into people yeah. to mm -hmm. build out, to spread the good news uh, that Jesus loves you and he paid the debt for your sin. Amen. So don't pass up the opportunity uh, to build into others uh, with the word of God. Continue to build out the body of Christ. People. Amen. Amen. I, know what I mean, I, I like I like and I, I especially like when you said because uh, we've been talking about this. Your best and first ministry is the life that you live for the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Excuse me, y'all. Uh, Brittany. Just, Turn Brittany off. Yeah, Brittany just. We we filming, Brittany. Yeah, okay. All right, we hit, All right, so hit you back in a minute. Jamar? Is that Jamar? Yeah. Yeah. Jamar? How you doing? We filming right now. I'm going to hit you right back. Up, yo. I can't. I don't know how <laughs> right. I did it. I don't even know how I did it. I can't hang up. I'm going to have to turn my phone off. Okay. <laughs> All right. Peace out. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, click click him out. Brent, click him out. Hang up, nerd. Click him out. Is that Rico? Yeah, it is. Okay, Rico. Yeah, Rico. Yeah, Rico. Yeah, Rico. Yeah, Rico. Brent, you the youngest old person. Hey, kick Jamar out of the chat. <laughs> I don't even know how it came on. It won't go off. <laughs> Say, kick him out. Click the mouse. Hear me shout. Huh? Who is that? It's your mama. Oh, what up? Oh, that's Money making she sound, moo -moo. she sound like your mom. I had to restart the phone. My bad, y'all. Yeah. That was a technical. <laughs> Satan, get behind us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah, but, you know, your first, most important and major ministry is the life that you live. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. that's. People can see, like, um, I remember Fred hollered at me and he he was talk he was talk shout out to Fred Beats. You know what I'm what saying? What up, Doc? Uh, uh, my man's, uh, my barber, and um, he was like, "Man, I'm loving the podcast, and man, you know, it just is different. Like, you know, I, you, 
I've known you since high school, and you know, I know we both love God, and we all we all been growing, and you know, and I see you post scripture and post this, that, and that, but to actually see that you have matured, y'all have matured and grown into actually living the life. That's different than just you posting a, a scripture. That's you know what I'm saying. So when the people who you may be uh, friends with on social media, when they actually see you living a kingdom life mm -hmm. and see you post, it's different. You know what I'm saying? People post stuff all, all the, the time. time. It's like whatever. But to actually live the life and sh and you know what I'm saying, and not saying we perfect and not saying we don't uh, mess up or or, fall, or or miss the mark. But we walking in righteousness, and when we do miss the mark, we feel it, and we don't rejoice in it, and we run to the cross, and we are doing everything possible to correct that and crucify that in our flesh. And when the people see that, your voice is stronger, your movement is stronger, your testimony reaches farther. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah sometimes we do cartwheels and forget to put pants on. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. We do that sometimes. Yep. You know yep. what I'm saying? So for the first respect process of the year, uh we just gonna talk about briefly just going deeper. You know what I'm saying? Um just going Amen. deeper. Me and me and we all been talking about this this week and me and Bino we was laughing because I basically I basically gave my respect to process on the phone last night. <laughs> we was weak, but we go we go back to Matthew six thirty three. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, Ooh. and all these things will be added unto you. Mm -hmm. And the whole point of that is what we've been talking about and what the Holy Spirit is is saying. Not just for this year, this. But you know, we starting fresh, whatever. Uh uh you can you know, a lot of people a lot a lot of things are accomplished when you start with a feeling or idea or a mindset of I'm starting fresh, start you know, I'm gonna start at the top of the week. I'm gonna start it so you know, I ain't I ain't gonna get on here and bash resolutions or whatever. Whatever you need to do to 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 use to uh push you ignite ignite you to a place of action cool whatever do it and if you fall off start next week start next week or start tomorrow just you know when you just you we have to continue but the main thing of that whole thing is uh that like i've been talking about for one one major as far as me getting in shape and losing this weight i'm 295 right now i need i have i'm going i have to lose 60 70 pounds i gotta get rid of 60 70 pounds at least to do my kingdom job it ain't i mean of course it's feeling good of course it's looking good living longer but first you can't do or fulfill your design in the kingdom if you can't physically do it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's been a stronghold on a lot of people. And it's so hard because it's deep rooted. When you have a thing that you are struggling with, that you're fighting against, it's deep rooted. If you are struggling with sex addiction, addiction porn addiction drug addiction food addiction uh anger strife uh being vindictive revengeful all these things this is like oh um, it's just so hard to lie it lying uh manipulating these things that just feel like a part of your core like you can't the breakthrough you if you are in christ jesus you have access to the breakthrough Amen. But the supernatural levels, like I was talking to Bino last night, they're in chambers of the supernatural. They're not surface. Your 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 your, your, your battle, your thing that you are battling with, that you are 
your giant that you are slaying is not surface. It's mineral deep. Like me and Bino was talking like, you know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't surface. It ain't right beneath the surface. It ain't third level. It's way deep down in the mineral rights deep. You know right. what I'm saying? Mm. So you got to uproot it. And that type of supernatural heavy lifting is done and reached in 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 deep uh 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 chambers of the supernatural in the kingdom. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Seek. You can't just be wanting these things. You have to run after these things. You have mm -hmm. to want them. You have to seek them out. You have to seek out being free from sex. You have to seek out being free from addiction. You have to want that. And then you have to go deep in the spirit. Amen. What does that look like? What does that look like? So Jesus is the archetype. He's the prototype. He's the blueprint of what we are to be and how we are to walk this thing out we he's the head we are the body we are him operating in this earthly realm right so pay attention jesus spent a lot of time in prayer and fasting I ain't got no 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 special recipe, special concoction, nothing new that you ain't heard me say, nothing new that you ain't heard us say. Jesus spent a lot of time in prayer and, and he went deep into those deep inner chambers of the kingdom. When he came down off the mountain, and when, when the disciples was out and they couldn't heal that kid, Jesus was somewhere praying. Jesus came and they said, uh, we can't heal him and blah, blah, blah. I think that was what, Mark 9 or something. And um, Jesus said unto Mark 9, 23. Well, I'm fast forwarding to the end of the thing. But Mark, 20, Mark 9, 23 through 29, Jesus said, Jesus said to him, if you can believe all things are possible to him who believes immediately, the father of the child cried out and said in tears, oh, Lord, I believe. Help my help my unbelief. That's another thing. Ask God, pray for pray against your unbelief. Be honest with yourself. Even you, you a Christian, you saved, but we still struggle with unbelief. Cast your unbelief, strike your unbelief down. Uh, help me with my unbelief. When Jesus saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to a deaf and dumb spirit, I command you, come out of him and enter no more. Then the spirit cried out, convulsed him greatly, and came out of him. And he and he became as one dead, so that many said he is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he arose. And when he had come into the house, his disciples asked him privately, why could we why could we not cast it out? He said to them, This kind can come out by nothing but fasting and prayer. Now a lot of people a lot of people take that and say a lot of people take that out of context and use it like you have to fast and pray for that thing to come out. Wrong. That's not what he's saying. What he's saying is the level of power and authority to cast this level of demon, this level of addiction, this level of perversion, this level of flesh, this level of spiritual warfare is only done through fasting and prayer. You Amen. only have access and confidence to do this through fasting and prayer. It said time and time again, Man, uh, go deeper. That breakthrough, that freedom, that chain, that struggle, that it uh, is all over, overcome and destroyed in the war room. Matthew six thirty three. But seek. Oh, I, I read that already. My bad. Uh, Luke five sixteen. So he himself often. So he himself, Jesus, often withdrew into the wilderness and prayed. 
Luke 6, 12. Now it came to pass in those days that he went out to the mount. He went out to the mountain to pray and continued all night in prayer to God. Mark 1, 35. In the early morning, while he while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went away to a secluded place and was praying there. Jesus prayed uh, right before Jesus did the biggest thing of his ministry was to die for us. Mm -hmm. The night before, what was he doing? He prayed to he, to he cried blood. He he prayed till he sweated, cried what blood. He was in prayer. Mm -hmm. All like so it it ain't no extravagant oh that's how you do it. Oh, I never no. It's it's the simple fact of taking this serious. Going deeper into the inner chambers, those deep chambers of the kingdom, those deep chambers of, 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 of communing with your father, being with your father, being with the king, being with the master. That is where it is won. We want a quick fix. We want things fast. We want things our way. No, it don't happen that way. How it happens is fasting and prayer. Prayer, stopping, slowing down, listening for the spirit, seeking to hear the spirit. The word says God speaks in a still small voice. And and he so so what 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 that what that translates to me is that he's not he ain't out here shouting over all the noise. He, I, I'm not I'm not competing against the noise. You tune in to me. Right, be still. Be still. I'm over here. I'm not going to shout over there. I'm over here. You tune in and come over here because this is where the well of water is. This is where the food is. This is where the fruit is. I'm not, I, I'm not bending to you. I'm not shouting over the noise. So when we got noise and we got static and we got clutter, you have to clear it out. You have to be still. You have to be quiet. You have to get by yourself. You have to crucify. You have to, you have to tear down everything that exalts itself above the word of God and hearing God. That is it. This battle, this fight, this war, that freedom, that bondage that you are trying to break, those chains, everything that you are trying to get out of, ain't no quick fix. Think about how long it took for you to build that idol. Think about how much your identity, your mind, your habits, the system that you live in is built up around this idol whether it be sex, drugs, hustling, not trusting God, uh, 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 perversion, anger, malice, hate, wrath, jealousy, envy, covetous, what all these things that you've built this idol up, how you've lived your life, how you how we've operated in our lives. We a lot of times, man, you've been in this thing 30 years. You've been in this thing your whole life, and you think that you can't find nowhere. In the scripture where it says all your habits, all your everything is done within a blink of an eye. It don't say that. It say that you get salvation immediately. You are saved immediately. You are righteous and holy immediately. But it tells you to grow up into the mind of Christ. It Ooh. tells you to crucify your flesh. It tells you to walk out this, to walk this thing out. So, You've built an idol of flesh for 30, 20, 30, 40, however long you've been alive before you came to the kingdom. You've spent all this time, and usually, just in psychology, just in psychology, psychologist says that it takes at least a third of the time that you've been in a mental state to get rid of that thinking. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if that translates to spiritual, but on the physical side, if you've been in this horrible relationship for 10 years and, 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 and it hasn't given you the thing that you want out of a relationship, marriage, whatever, whatever it is, you've 
gain all these horrible habits and this distortion of relationships, all this thing, it's going to at least take three years for you to, I mean, four years for you to get, what, what's a third of 10? Three, right? I'm tripping. <laughs> I'm over here doing math. And I'm <laughs> but it's going to at least take you a third of that time to decompress, to get, to get away from that, to, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's a process. And the, and the heavy lifting is done in your war room, in spirit, in prayer and meditation. So that's all. That's what I got for respect the hey, process. Man. We oh, got to go deeper, go it. harder. Go deeper. Take time with God. Serious. Go deeper, 21. Go deeper, 21. Go further, 21. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I got, man. Nice. Yes, sir. I Amen. received that. Amen. I received it too. I received that. Amen. Definitely. That was Amen. that was that, that was a good word, brother. Thank you, God. Amen. So what so what you got for we this went. blessed vision of the first blessed vision of the year? So visionaries, what we have today is Oh, three years and four months. <laughs> right. right. Oh well, yeah, because it's twelve months. My bad. So the vision and insight of the Lord today came. So last last week, my brother Milt was ministering to me about uh uh my finances. He was coming from a spiritual aspect and a you know a, 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 a natural aspect, and uh he had a uh, he had said some things to me. And so by the end of the conversation, like I usually over talk him. I over talk everybody in the conversation. I usually over talk him. Then I just shut up and listen, right? He came so like it was the, the message was so powerful. Scripture popped up in my head about the parable of the talents. Mm -hmm. I said, hey, Beans, man, you, you might want to briefcase Beans that, right? So oh, yeah. I initially <clears throat> thought that word was for him. <clears throat> Actually, the Holy Spirit was talking to me, mm -hmm. you know, about these talents. So today, I'm going to share with you the insight of the parable of the talents increasing in the kingdom and increasing in your talents. Mm -hmm. Increasing your talents. So first, I want to start with the parable of two talents. If uh, uh, the parable of talents, if you know, y'all out there don't have never heard. I'm gonna read it. I'm coming from uh, um, Matthew, Matthew uh, 25, 14 through 30, mm -hmm. English Standard Version. So, it will be like a man going on a journey who called uh, his servants and entrusted them his property. To one he gave five talents, to another, to another two, and to another one one each according to his ability. Then he went away. He who had received the five talents, he went at once to trade it with them, and he made five more. He made five talents more. So also he had, so also he who had two talents made two talents more. But he who had received the one talent went and dug in the ground in his master's money. Now after a long time, the master of those servants uh, who came and settled accounts with them. And he who had received the five talents came forward, bringing five talents more, said to the master, you delivered to me five talents here. I have made five talents more. His master said to him, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful for over a little, and that will that will set you over much. Enter, enter into the joy. You Enter into the joy. And he also had... And he who also had two talents came forth and saying, Master, you delivered me two talents. Here I have made two talents more. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful of a little. I will set you over much. Enter into your joy of your enter into the joy of your master. He who also received the one talent came forth and saying, Master, I knew you to be a hard man reaping. Oh, where 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 you did not sow and gathering where you scattered no seed. So I was afraid and I went and hid the talent into the ground. Here, here have what is yours. But his master answered him, you wicked, slothful servant. 
<laughs> you knew that I reap where I have not sown and gather and, and, and where I scattered no seed. Then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers and that my coming I should have received what was my own with interest. So take the talent from him and give it to who has 10 talents. But to everyone who has will be more given and he who and he will have an abundance. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away and cast to the and cast and then he cast the worthless servant into the outer darkness, into the place where there will be weeping and gnashing of the teeth. So what do we learn from this parable? We learn not not to be just thankful for God's promises, but to also be obedient to the promise. We also learn to increase the talents which God give you. Talent, a gift, whether it be earthly, musically, physically, or spiritually. He loves when you obtain them, but God loves even more when you increase them. Mm -hmm. uh, for the will and purpose of the kingdom. Whether you know it or not, talents are meant to increase the kingdom. So what if you don't have any talents? That was if that was the question. Well, the answer to that is we all we all have talents. Your perception might be that talents might only come in the form of an ability to perform. That's not true. Your talent could be to increase your children in the kingdom, increasing your fellowship, increasing your marriage, increasing your love for people, increasing your prayer life. All of these things could be used to increase the kingdom. The main key, the main key to increasing the kingdom, Matthew 6.33. Amen. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. So, just as Rico spoke, we gonna, we, so we coming right full circle, 360. Mm -hmm. So. Nah, man. So, <laughs> so, you know, um, you know. The key, when I say that's the key, before you do anything to increase, you have to first seek him out. Yeah. You have to go into those 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 inner chambers. You have mm -hmm. to sacrifice. You have to fast and pray. Mm -hmm. All of these things. You must seek God and go deeper. Mm -hmm. mm. So, so that's the first key. And then the second key that I have. Cause that was the main key. As you might notice, I did not mention financial increase because just as scripture said before, seek ye seek God first. Financial increase for financial increase is for the increase of the kingdom. Mm. Not many rich people make it to the kingdom because they don't increase their talents. They worry about things of this earth and would rather not part with their money instead of doing the will of God. So again, in Matthew. 1924. This is all coming from the English Standard Version as well. S. Uh, S. <laughs> again, <laughs> again, I tell you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle for than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. If you are financially blessed and talents continuously add to the kingdom, be a blessing. But more so, focus on sowing the seed of righteousness as much as you can to increase the kingdom. So, Listen, like I was saying, talents are not just uh, the having to the the ability to perform something. Mm -hmm. It doesn't always have to. You might not see on the surface. It might not be that you're gonna be the greatest basketball player, the greatest singer, the greatest writer. Uh, you might not have the outrageous physical abilities, mm -hmm. or it might just be simply building the kingdom into your family into your children so the kingdom increases mm -hmm. hold on I have some, some we just caught a bad frequency it might be just to increase your family because once you increase your family oh, once you increase your family in the kingdom uh, it spreads it, it makes the, the kingdom wide the body becomes stronger yeah. mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying so Increasing them, they increase their children. So now we have just kingdom everywhere. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Also, uh, increasing your marriage. Your marriage is a ministry for God. It's mm -hmm. not for just the the rings and things and 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 the trips. And it's for the ministry of God. It's for the purpose 
and the and, and the will of showing the love of God. How you treat your mate and how you minister to your mate and how y'all produce, you will show good fruit to other people. Real quick to interject too, to add to that, what I've been learning, what I've been learning about marriage, and I'm not married yet, but romantic, the romantic love is not even top five of the most important things in a marriage. Amen. Not at it's all. One, it's, it is important. I'll say it's top 10. But it's not even top five. It's definitely not number one. And it's usually number one. In On everybody's of. list. And that's why everybody's getting divorced. That's why that's why people, we enter into it the wrong way with the wrong person. Because romantic love, the romantic love is not first and foremost. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's just what I wanted to say. Go ahead. Increase your talents. When I used to hustle, and a friend of mine gave me a good, we, we used to hustle together, and he gave me, a, I, I told him about what I was going to do, so he brought it to me and hustled for me. He said, hey, man, you know, remember back when you used to hustle, and you know, you would go to the guy, the, the main guy, the, the supplier, and you know, once they see that, they, they, they want to rock with you because they gave you something, and you didn't just come back with what they gave you. You came back with that and more. They like, oh man, he out here getting to it. We we want to put him on another level. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we can trust him with more. Yeah, we can trust him with more. We can give him more. Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying that to the people out here who really not getting it, and they like, oh, you coming out biblically and all that, and they don't understand. To y'all out there to hustle, y'all can increase that talent in another area. Amen. And I'm talking about as far as the camera, as far as uh, you know, as far as you know, seeing a cart full. As far as uh, you got this camera. I, mean, I can't. I can't format. All right. I know. All right. All right. We good. We good. We good. So, as far as uh, you know, you know, you doing illegal things to get money, you can transfer that energy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You could transfer that same energy and increase your talent somewhere else. I watched somebody personally I know really do it. They really did it big on a whole nother level. You know, they came into a situation where they got jammed up. They turned their lives over to the Lord. Those same principles and things they used to be a great hustler, they got them caught up when Lord and the Lord released them from those shackles. He increased his talents to such an amazing level via the Holy Spirit that it's phenomenal. I mean, he 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 up there in the blue collar brackets right now. You know what I mean? White collar. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah the white, white collar. Uh, nah, I don't know. I'm thinking. <laughs> of, I'm thinking. Of, I'm thinking of blue collar criminals. Uh, the white collar, whatever. So yeah. Hey, but shout out to the blue collar folks. Blue collar people make plenty of kizash. Right. Blue collar son. That's right. So, so I. Great I, I I watched I watched his his I can't wait to have him and see so he can share his grand testimony. But hey, I watched it. I was there. I seen it. Mm -hmm. And so now it's the season to increase our talents, yeah. increase your family. The Lord has been speaking to me this week, tuning me in. Increase your family in the kingdom strongly. I I, I had a situation uh with with like I was talking about my other children, my son. You know, I had him and I taught him all the wrong things that I, because I didn't, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to use excuses, but I didn't have anybody really to show me how to raise a man. I kind of freestyled my way to the top. Mm -hmm. God had me. Better yet, I, I like to tell Rico I was walking with the Holy Spirit and didn't even know that he was moving me forward. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so I, my, I had a chance with him later on in life to reconnect and I kind of, Thought giving him stuff and the things that he never had and showing him the the uh showing him things and on a manly macho side would would increase him. But I left out the major detail of giving him God. Giving him the talents that he needs. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Your children are your talents. They are a blessing. Increase them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So now I have the opportunity 
while he's on a little, he he visiting me right now, so I have the opportunity as much as possible to let the Holy Spirit lead me into increasing him because he's a talent. I've always told him that God is making you a powerful man, but I gave him nothing else to go with it. I just mm -hmm. gave him that with no evidence to support that or to back that. So now that I have a chance, not just him, but all of my children, they're all blessings. I got a lot of them. So mm -hmm. I have to increase them and hope that they have the, 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 the ears to hear, but I got to come from wisdom. Increase your talents. Don't When God gives you a blessing, you take that blessing and make it a blessing and be blessing to others. So that's 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 my vision for the week. And uh, I just want to tell you, like I always tell you, and this goes with increasing your talents. It's not about what you, it's not about, the blessing is not about what you can get. Mm -hmm. It's about what you get to do for God and others. Amen. That's right. And that's Amen. It. I can give it to you, but what you going to do with it? I can give it to you, right. but what, 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 what? Yeah, <laughs> that's dope. That was a dope, yeah, dope round table. Yeah, hey, right. you already know. You know what I'm saying? Praise God. Jesus Amen. God. We love you, God. Well, I guess let's get on about it here then. Hey, I, yeah, I, ain't man. Go, I ain't gonna hold you. 21 came in like, bang, 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 bang. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. The right. Holy Spirit reigns. Right. Amen. Why don't you close this out, school? So, at this time, we, while we all over here in this good Holy Spirit, we invite you to get some of that too. Amen. We call you to the altar. We call you to tell you that this gift is free. The gift of salvation. The gift of mercy. The gift of plentifulness from the, lot, from the Lord, whom we call Jesus Christ. The Son of Yahweh. Um, how you do that is... You lay down your burdens on him. Ask him to ask him to reveal himself to you. Say, God, I I want to get to know you. I want to get to meet you. Could you show me? Could you show me yourself? Reveal yourself to me, and he will reveal himself to you. So what we want to do is just invite you out to just bring your burdens. Ask God to show you and lift you up. Rico, I need you to help me out a little bit. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, you said you said it right. Just you know, uh, be be. Don't be afraid to be butt naked in front of God. Amen. Meaning, mm. meaning to be vulnerable, to be open, to be to, don't hide. To you know, what I'm saying unashamedly ask. I don't know what's true. I don't know what's right. I don't know what's real. If there is a God, He has all the answers and all of the power and all of the truth. Show me if you don't know. Yeah, he know what your booty look like. <laughs> <laughs> he made your booty, <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that, was just, that just came out the left field. Like, I know what he felt it on my heart, <laughs> right? <laughs> That's gonna speak to somebody, <laughs> <laughs> but. Yeah, and I'll say, I mean, he, he he knows you in and out. He created you. He designed you. So, and a good start. Oh, crack you a Bible. We live in a free nation. Yes. Bibles are free on every smartphone. Mm -hmm. Even the homeless people on the street got smartphones. You can download the Bible and read for yourself. If, if I believe that if you are watching this show, it is not by coincidence or accident. So take our you know, don't don't take our word for it. Do your own research. Read the Bible. Ask the God of the Bible: Is He true? He'll answer. I guarantee. Mm -hmm. So we just want to thank you. We just want to praise you. We just want to increase in trust. Increase in patience increase in you father to do your will your way to be what you fashioned us to be in the name of jesus amen amen amen, amen. and if you want if you need a physical bible hit us up we'll get you one we got yeah. physical right. bibles yeah. Yeah. we'll get yeah. you one we ride i ride around with a box of them in my back seat for that so if right you see me strapped up yeah 
Stay strapped. Stay strapped. I got a Bible in the car. The new boozy, I got a stick in the car. I got a Bible in the you car. Got a Bible yeah. in the car. I can dig. Scoop tell them where they can find the squad every week. Right. So, follow us on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Your camera ain't working. Hold on, I'm about to hook you up. Hit him up. Thanks, brother Milt. So you can follow us though. our social media handles. You can follow us on IG at uh crown underscore of underscore glory underscore 360. And you can also follow us on Twitter at COG360. Also, if you need to email us, contact us, DM us, you could also find us on our email, crown of glory360 at gmail.com. And uh to find us on here to catch the podcast go to our youtube page like share subscribe smash the notification bell it the crown of glory 360 watch the crown of glory 360 podcast episode 1 and 24 also remember we gonna do what we do about this time all the time you know what we do best spread love that's the blessed way that's yahweh the blessed way yahweh yeah. yeah that's right what else we, what we got here oh yeah Hey, smile, be polite. As you blurry, though. Tell someone you love them. I'm blurry. <laughs> I'm blurry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <My bad>. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you smack. No. Over there. You just, you just, you just. My oh, bad. <laughs> I just messed up the whole thing. Yeah. Man. Why you why 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 you can't do nothing right? My bad. Stop. Leave me you alone. You can't take none of this out. I'm not taking any of this out. Leave it right there. Go sit Go. down. Oh, yeah. Bino. Natty boy. What you got for the people? Hey. Smile. Be polite. Tell someone you love them. Hey y'all, I love y'all. I love you too, man. I love you too. Have you, it, it, it's ball. And it's ball. remember where you go, whatever you do, to be salt and light, and to walk in godliness. godliness. Woo! We know that this is one of your all-time favorites. Oh yeah, yes it is. <laughs> You ain't never lied. Oh, oh, we definitely know it's one of your all time favorites. Uh huh. Uh huh. We some air buses. <laughs> Turn up. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year! Happy New Year, y'all! <laughs> Amen. Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. Go deeper, twenty-one. Did they say Thank we was? You, did they say we would sock you for the Lord? We would knock you. We would knock you out for the Lord. Cuz, <laughs> oh God! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, we love you, God. Amen. Peace. Peace. We out. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, we started New Year like that. <laughs> that was crazy night. <laughs> <laughs>